Toyota is making a bold and innovative move that sets it apart from the rest of the automotive industry's trend toward an all-electric future. Rather than concentrating solely on electric vehicles, Toyota is reviving internal combustion engines with the development of a revolutionary hydrogen combustion engine. Having established itself as a leader in hybrid technology with models like the Prius, Toyota is now shifting its focus to hydrogen. However, this time it's not about hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, SEVs, like the Toyota Mirai. Instead, the company is concentrating on hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines. Traditional hydrogen SEVs like the Mirai have encountered performance challenges, often being perceived as underpowered, heavy, and less practical for everyday use. Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine aims to address these shortcomings, providing a more powerful and practical alternative while preserving the eco-friendly benefits of hydrogen, which is the most abundant element in the universe. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. One of the significant drawbacks of lithium-ion batteries used in electric vehicles is their environmental impact. Lithium mining can lead to soil and water pollution, and despite advancements in battery technology, issues like charging times and range limitations remain. By merging the strengths of internal combustion engines with the sustainability of hydrogen, Toyota seeks to tackle these challenges head-on. Historically, BMW explored hydrogen combustion technology in the late 90s and early 2000s with models such as the E38 and E65. However, those efforts never progressed beyond the prototype stage due to a lack of hydrogen infrastructure. Fortunately, thanks to Toyota's work with the Mirai, the hydrogen infrastructure has expanded, providing the necessary groundwork for developing and producing hydrogen combustion engines. Currently, Toyota is developing two hydrogen combustion engines. The first is a 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine, the same as that found in the GR Yaris and GR Corolla but adapted to run on hydrogen. Remarkably, this engine retains the powerful growl of its gasoline counterpart, despite the fuel change. The second engine is a 5.0-liter V8, derived from the engine used in the Lexus RCF. This engine is intended for larger vehicles such as pickup trucks, SUVs, and larger sedans. Toyota's shift toward hydrogen combustion engines could potentially revolutionize the automotive industry, offering a powerful and eco-friendly alternative to both electric and gasoline vehicles. This innovative approach not only positions Toyota as a leader in sustainable automotive technology, but also opens the door for a new era in vehicle performance and environmental responsibility. The fact that neither of these engines lost much power after being converted to hydrogen is significant. Sure, there was a drop in output. However, the difference is negligible, to say the least. For these performance figures to be achieved without sacrificing Toyota's trademark reliability, several crucial changes needed to be made. There have been quite a few modifications made to the venerable 1.6 and 5.0 liter engines to make them function reliably using hydrogen. First, and by far the most important change, is the fuel system. Hydrogen is a gas and has been pressurized and cooled to the point of liquefaction. This means that the fuel system needed to be changed for something that tolerates extreme pressures better than the regular system, which is designed for liquid fuels. These changes include, most prominently, a new fuel pump and injectors, as well as fuel tanks that are structurally different from regular fuel tanks. They are the same as the ones used in the Toyota Mirai, meaning that they are quite massive, similar to LPG tanks. The ignition system has also been swapped out for a different solution, using different spark plugs that ignite hydrogen efficiently compared to the traditional spark ignition system. Additionally, the ECU also needed replacing so that it could optimize performance and fuel efficiency, allowing the engine to be utilized much better and increasing its longevity significantly. However, the biggest changes of all are the structural ones. Despite the two engines being the same unit, there have been several truly structural changes, such as a swap to more sturdy materials for the valves, the head and head gaskets, as well as the camshafts and the crankshaft. These have been made to mitigate the reactivity that hydrogen is well known for and to increase the expected lifespan of the engine. As a result of these extensive modifications, both the 1.6 and the 5.0 hydrogen engines retained most of the performance figures of their gasoline-powered counterparts while also being similarly fuel-efficient. The 1.6 has been tested out in a myriad of different vehicles, including the Toyota Corolla GR and Corolla Cross, and most prominently the Toyota Yaris GR. The 5.0 is planned to be tested in the Land Cruiser, as well as the Toyota Tundra and Sequoia further down the line. However, with great power comes great responsibility, and with great popularity comes a great number of problems. 
This brings us to the question, are there any arising issues with using this technology? Yes, a lot of issues have been brought to light. The biggest and by far the most prominent one is the acquisition of hydrogen. Sure, it is the most plentiful element in the universe. However, it is seldom found on its own. Hydrogen is mostly part of a compound, which means it requires processing before it is ready to be used. While extracting it from water might sound simple, the truth is far more complicated. This requires electrolysis, which is a convoluted and expensive process. Not to mention, it cannot be performed everywhere, as it requires specific conditions for it to be successful. As a result, obtaining hydrogen is, at least for now, quite a costly venture that is hardly profitable. Driving a hydrogen car is currently over 14 times more expensive than driving an EV, which is not something you want to hear while competing against EVs. Moreover, the electrolysis process requires electricity, defeating the purpose of replacing EVs with something more eco-friendly. Furthermore, even if you were to extract hydrogen cheaply by some miracle, another problem poses itself, storing it. Hydrogen is a highly reactive gas, and hydrogen storage is a delicate ordeal that requires perfect conditions for it to be safe. This issue is especially present when storing hydrogen in a car, as it requires specific armored tanks. Hydrogen is a highly corrosive gas that can easily escape any space due to its structure. Therefore, hydrogen tanks need to be almost bulletproof, which means they are much heavier than regular tanks and even batteries in some cases. This, in turn, lowers the range and performance figures of vehicles that use hydrogen while also making the interior space much more cramped due to the size of the tanks. Plus, despite the infrastructure being noticeably better than it used to be in the 2000s, it is still far from being reliable and user-friendly for daily use. There are only a handful of hydrogen charging points worldwide, making the fuel quite unreliable for day-to-day -day use. Finally, as mentioned, hydrogen is a highly reactive gas.